Welcome back everyone on the Minecraft server. Oh, create a flag. Uh, it's been a while since I've done it up here. Uh, I'll show you all what I've uh, been doing lately. I mean, I had a whole period of uh, not playing. Uh, but yeah, I was uh, clearing out some, some land and I got a lot of sand. And uh, with, the, with that sand, I thought, why not... Uh, go into the nether for a bit and blow some stuff up so we're going to see if we can uh, find some ancient debris I, I put them here I, this tunnel was already here I don't think I built this I think somebody else uh, I threw here this is the area where I got all my ancient debris before I'll show you before uh, those chests and that staircase up that was lead to my uh, initial portal and the fortress. I don't know if it's like one of the very earliest episodes of uh, this series. Uh, but yeah, I've, uh, I've gone like uh, mine as deep as you can, place down the block, and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, next block. And then that, that works quite well. So let's go for a whole. Bada boom. Wasn't there one there? Maybe just mistake or something. Maybe I should have brought like a what's it called? Fire resistance station. Let's watch this explosion. There we have one. Oh, no, I didn't put any more there. We'll blow up a few more. Lovely explosion. Always a good sound. In in game, I mean, of course. There we go. Okay, let's go check out and see if we got any prizes. Okay, uh, nothing here. I've also been uh, gathering gravel. This uh, gravel is always use useful, if for nothing else but, uh, what's it called, concrete. No prizes, no prizes. Let's uh, plug you up. There we go. Rides. Just some quartz. Maybe we should gather the quartz as well. I'll, I'll do that later. Okay. No ancient debris here. None here. This is really bad luck. Am I at Y level? My thirteen. Hmm. Why is my my little? Uh, I had like a mob installed that put like little coordinates in the top left of my screen, but I don't know why they're not showing right now. Oh, there we have our first prize. Go one and two. Only cost me like forty uh, 
TNT, but oh well. Not super efficient. Usually, uh, I, I did a whole like, stack of TNT before this, uh, yesterday. But, uh, and I got a bit better rates than just uh, two inch debris. Uh, I did it. I think maybe I did two stacks of TNT. And I got like 24 uh, inch debris. Oh, lag. Feels dangerous walking around with TNT. But it's not really. Um, yeah, what I wanted to talk about. Um, I think in one of the previous episodes, I wanted to, to talk about uh, my situation with my dad a bit. I don't know, maybe I just want to vent a little about it. Because uh, it's been a difficult time for me. I think, I don't quite remember what I said last time, but my dad has a a combination now of uh, Parkinson's, Parkinson's disease and uh, now it is also uh, this is this happens in some cases of Parkinson's where you also get dementia and uh, my dad has uh, Lewy body dementia and uh, it's been hitting kind of hard these, these past few months and uh, yeah, my, uh, like, we, we couldn't take care of him anymore at home. Uh, wait, let me put these away. We'll have more stuff. We got plenty of stuff. Okay, you go there. Let's get four, five, six. You and you. Let's put this all into this big auto smelter. And there we go. Let's get another six. Uh, but yeah, my dad has uh, Lou body dementia. That's just a type of dementia. And honestly, the doctor said that at the start there's differences between the types of dementia. But near the end, they're all the same. And uh, it's, it's been tragic and difficult to deal with. Because uh, my dad kind of becomes like a different person at night. And he's very confused. And it's, it's diff difficult to explain. And because he has, has Parkinson's, like he can't move properly. Like, an example is, is that uh, because the Parkinson is, is also like, is like it's a brain disease. And so if he has to pee at night, that sometimes he has to pee a lot. He can't really get up to pee. And uh, so we'd have to help him. And that's, that's became very taxing for us. And well, the thing is now he's... Uh, been uh, beyond our control at this point and it's uh, it's very sad that the worst thing is 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 he doesn't he doesn't get it like he called me today when are you gonna, when are you gonna come pick me up and it's it's uh, it's that's real heartbreaking I have to tell him, no, I'm not going to come pick you up and bring you home. And, uh, yeah, but, uh, he's, he's currently in, like, a short-term location. I mean, even the location is called, like, short-term before they find, like, a, how to, like, evaluate his uh, condition, see what would be a good place for him. They're, they're kind of done with that now. But uh, they still have to like apply to put him somewhere else. And it's all taking very long. So uh, yeah, it's been been very difficult to deal with. I've uh, I've been tired a lot. 
but of course for him it's it's even worse. Because yeah, I mean he's he's still like conscious enough to know that he's losing his mind. And it's, it's just very tragic. Um, uh, but yeah, I've been uh kind of finding my escape in uh, maybe single player games. I I just put a whole uh uploaded the whole 30 episode playlist of uh, me playing medieval 2 total war and uh, stainless steel mod let's put this foot and steal away and you i need rockets Yes, there we go. Okay, we're gonna fly over to uh... oh, my connection. Really is horrible. It was fine before I started recording. Really, well. There we go. Uh, yeah, good land. Uh, me, Scubble, and uh, Sakana have been starting to work on Goodland. And uh, I suggested a location, which was uh, difficult to pick because Sarko, in his infinite wisdom in picking this uh, seed, uh, chose an area that has no flat areas around 0 0. So, uh, yeah, I did a, a bunch of bunch of work here. Uh, me and Sakana cleared this out. Sakana did a bunch of work, but I think for once I actually did more of the grind work than Sakana. Uh, but thank you for all of it. Uh, but yeah, this was a relatively flat area, as you can see by like the places where the grass is still uh, up. You can see the, the grass, uh, where those little grass tufts are, is what was actually at the right proper Y level, I always just flattened this entire area to Y64, uh, raised up some areas. This is the main, like, hilly area. Um, at first I put down, like, the beacons. I even made it double beacons, but I've removed that now with uh, speed and haste. But now it's just speed beacons, because I don't really need the haste anymore. I've put down a torch grid. And this is going to be the huge land area, which is, uh, if you don't know, like every season of the Minecraft server has like a good land area that's like a theme park, kind of, where people can build uh, like games to play with the community. And uh, yeah, just like a little community building area. But uh, yeah, I, I kind of like just flattening things. I put on like an audiobook. And uh, just mindless mining and mindless torch placing. And I had to go repair my shovels so many times. Uh, but yeah, I, I used uh, typh Typhoon's uh, iron farm for some of the iron blocks because I, I didn't have this many iron blocks. And uh, also his. Uh, uh, and the Wither Skeleton Farm to get all the beacons. I have like, this is this is nine beacons. Uh, and I had 18 beacons for this. And I also have four beacons of, at home, so I have like 22 beacons now in total. It's just, uh, I mean, it's real easy on this server to uh, defeat the Wither. Because I, I just built a little chamber into the wall because uh, there's grief protection on this server. So any block above Y60 uh, or 64 or something uh, cannot be broken by mobs or not even by a, a winner. So you can just put him into a little, little hole in the mouth and just sort him to death. So uh, yeah, you know, I'll check my statistics for the winners. Yeah, I've killed 28 winners. Would I kill you one time? Oh, that's only slow. Let go. See what's the mod that I've killed the most skeletons, a thousand. 
slow that my cubes and I'm gonna of course Uh, but yeah, this is just a, a little, little, I don't want to say like a life update, bit of a rant for me. Just uh, wanted to get it out there. Thank you for everybody who's uh, sent me supportive messages. I, uh, they're very nice. So, I'll see you next time if I actually figure something out that I want to build on the Minecraft server. So, uh, I'll see you next time. Might be next week, might be tomorrow, might be next year.